Hello and welcome to this special video edition of the Homeland Security Report. I'm David Jones. GPS for accurate airdrops. Some of the weapons and ammunition that were airdropped by the coalition aircraft fighting ISIS in Iraq and Syria have missed the planned drop zones and fell directly into the hands of the terrorist organization. This was no surprise as the precise airdropping of supplies has always been a challenge. While high altitude airdrops often miss the target, low level paradrops face significant dangers from enemy fire, yet reduce delivery range. In recent years, technology has helped in solving the technical issues. GPS guidance systems that enable precise weapons to hit the target with super accuracy, coupled with software that acts as a flight control system for parachutes, are supposed to offer a solution. The dilemma for airdropping supplies has always been really difficult. High altitude airdrops often go badly amiss and become useless or even counterproductive. Low level paradrops face significant dangers from enemy fire and reduce delivery range. Can this dilemma be resolved? The US military believe that modern technologies could allow them to break the dilemma. The idea? Use the same GPS guidance that enables precision strikes from joint direct attack munition, JDAM bombs, coupled with software that acts as a flight control system for parachutes. JPAD's Joint Precision Airdrop System has been combat tested successfully in Iraq and Afghanistan after moving beyond the test stage in the US and elsewhere. After being dropped from high altitude, JPADS use GPS and a guidance navigation and control system to accurately fly itself to a designated location point on the ground. Its gliding ram air parachute lets it land at a significant distance from its point of release, while its guidance allows high altitude airdrops to a single location or multiple locations at one time, within an accuracy of 50 to 75 meters. JPADS is expected to be especially helpful to special forces, but also has wider military applicability. The overall program has been pursued as a joint effort by the US Army and US Air Force since 1997. Several US allies have expressed an interest in JPADS systems, while others are developing comparable systems of their own. The Israeli Air Force does not wait, as a major pillar of the Israeli Defense Forces, IDF, its Hercules C-130 aircraft are tasked, among their various missions, with supplying long-range ground forces with ammunition, food and water. In recent weeks, the Israeli Air Force is testing a GPS-based system that can bring a ton of cargo hanging from a parachute to a mere 150 meters from the designated drop zone. The IAF's Flight Test Center is testing a system that allows it to know the exact position of the drop cargo and in addition enables it to control its descent. With the Depth Command's list of potential missions, the ability to perform precise airdrops in minimum risk to the aircraft is a crucial operational capability. Well, that's it for this week. Thank you for watching this special edition of the report. See you at the same time, same place next week, and for further information, click the link below.